Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronics Fix. Today we're going to be tearing down the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. And here we have the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Let's get it out of the box and get it torn down. So this is what you get inside the box. You have the controller itself, you have the USB-C cable, and you also have the instructions inside the box. Let's take a look and see what we have to do to get it torn apart. Now it looks like the first step is gonna be to remove this Phillips screw and this Phillips screw first, so we'll do that and then see what's inside. I'm gonna be using an iFixit toolkit. I'll link that in the description below if you're interested in purchasing this for yourself. iFixit did not sponsor this video and I did pay for this repair kit. I am using the kit because I simply like their tools. The bit that I'm using first is a J00. It's kind of like a uh, Japanese Phillips bit. After those two screws come off, these ends simply slide off, which is actually kind of cool because if these wear out on you, you can replace them, it looks like. Now that those are off, we get into some more Phillips screws. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in the camera now so you can see a little bit closer up what we're doing here. After these two screws and these sections are taken off, it looks like we need to remove this top plastic and this bottom plastic. Now I did notice before we take this plastic off, there is a screw here and a screw here. So we need to remove those first. They're just the JS00 Phillips screws. Once these two screws are loose, we also need to remove these two screws back here. And they are also the JS00 Phillips. Once that plastic piece is removed, you get to the battery. This battery is a CTR003. It's the exact same battery as in the 3DS handheld consoles. I'll hold up this battery, and this is the battery out of a 3DS console. So as you can see, they are exactly the same. The label's on a little differently, but they are interchangeable as you can see. Once the battery is removed, we need to remove this screw and this screw, and we're gonna be using the same JS00 bit. We also have a screw right down at the bottom. Once those screws are removed, there's another screw right here and right here, kind of hidden down in there. And for these screws, you will need a long screwdriver. This bit is not going to be long enough to get down in there, so we're going to use a Phillips double zero screwdriver to get those screws out. This screwdriver actually is a Phillips triple zero, but it should work just fine. That one's out. And that one's loose. As you can see, the screw, the black screws are all the exact same size. And now this top piece should just pop off like that. And as you can see, we just have this ribbon cable down below. So we'll remove that. And now the top piece is out. We have one green board here, and then we have one ribbon cable here that goes go to the bumper buttons. Now here we have the inside of the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. We'll take the analog sticks off. They just pull up. So if these ever need to be replaced, they are replaceable. So we'll pull those up, and then you can get a better look at the motherboard inside. We do have the rumble motors here and here. We have the USB-C connector down here, and then a couple of the main chips on the motherboard. Next, we're gonna actually remove the, these screws and take out the motherboard so we can see the underside of it and what's underneath. There's one screw here that I've already moved, one screw here, one screw here, and we'll also need to remove this screw in the white piece. There's the LEDs right on the motherboard, and the white piece on top of it simply has these clear plastic pieces that will project those lights onto the light bar on the back of the console right here. And now that, that all that is loose, we can kind of wiggle the motherboard up to get it out. We're not gonna disconnect this wire or pull up these motors. They are glued down with adhesive and I don't wanna weaken that adhesive. So we're not gonna take that out, but we can flip the motherboard up so we can see the bottom side of it. There's pretty much nothing under here, just some solder joints. These solder joints are what hold in 
the analog sticks themselves on the motherboard and at least with the PS4 and Xbox One controllers, these sticks go bad quite often, and that's why you get uh, the sticks drifting and stuff like that. So these actually can be replaced. It's not the easiest job in the world, but you would just have to remove all these solder joints. This, this would drop down and you have to pop the new one in and solder it back in. So that's how they do that. Underneath, there is one more board here, and this is the board that has the battery connections on it. And then we've got a pretty burly gray ribbon cable here that transfers those connections up to the main motherboard. So that's a look inside the motherboard on the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Let's see how hard it is to get back together. Now with the analog sticks, there is a certain way they need to go on. You just need to match the shape of this to the shape of your analog stick, and then you just kind of match it up and then push down, and that will get the analog sticks back on. Now before we put this top plastic piece on, we do need to make sure that the ribbon cable is connected. Now that the top plastic piece is on, we can flip it over and put the screws back in on the back side. We do want to test all the buttons out to make sure everything is in there how it should be and everything feels good. So we're going to continue assembling the controller. Now that that bottom piece is on, we just need to slide on the two ends and then put those two screws in and we'll be done. Now to get those on properly, there's a groove right here and a groove right here. So we just need to match up the grooves with these parts on the plastic pieces and they'll slide right on. Now that they're on, we just need to put in these two screws. And now that those two screws in, we are done assembling the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Thanks for watching my teardown. I do have to say that tearing down this Pro Controller for the Nin Nintendo Switch is a much either easier job than the controller for the Xbox One, Xbox One S, and probably even a little bit easier than the PS4 DualShock 4 controller. It looks like this is fairly modular, so if, for example, your thumbsticks wear out, or your buttons wear out, or even if this piece wears out, you can actually replace those fairly simply, and these buttons also can be replaced. It looks like these are pretty well made. The PS4 and Xbox One controllers had quite a bit of problems with these buttons, so we'll see if this Pro controller has the same problems. Hopefully not but if it does, they are replaceable. So thanks again for watching. Please like this video if you like it, subscribe if you wanna see more, and if you have any other ideas or things you wanna see in videos, just let me know in the comment section. Thanks for hanging out with me and have a great day.